What's up guys, thanks for checking out this video. Today we're gonna to talk about series shortcuts and how to incorporate HomeKit into those shortcuts. Let's go. My name is Shane and on this channel I'm making videos transforming my home into a smart home using HomeKit without breaking the bank. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing, click the bell notification because I'll be making some more videos um, as I'm kind of going through this process of transforming my home into a smart home using HomeKit. For those who may not know, Siri Shortcuts uh, is an app and it was released um, with iOS 12. Um, you can download it from the App Store if you haven't already. And it allows you to essentially create a series of automations that work together. And in the Home app, I have an automation that triggers a lot of my lights and things every morning that goes off before I wake up which is great, but on the weekends, sometimes I sleep in, I get up at different times. Um, so I created a shortcut that runs on the weekends. So this way, regardless of what time I wake up, I can say good day or good morning to Siri on my phone or my watch or whatever, HomePod, if you have one, and it'll trigger this series of events. This shortcut in particular gives me the date, uh, tells me if I have any events on my calendar coming up on that day, gives me the forecast, and then it also sets a home scene that I've created. So I'll run this right when I get up, you know, when I wake up and it'll kind of tell me about my day, the weather and everything. And then it sets my home scene the way I like it um, when I wake up on the weekends. So let's check it out right quick and I'll show you how it's set up. And I will also leave a link down in the description below where you can download and install this shortcut on your phone or on your iOS device. Um, if you'd like to give it a try, you can tinker with it, change it up, make it yours, you know, if you'd like to try that out. All right, so I've got my iPad here and I'm gonna show you real quick what the shortcut does and then I'll open up the shortcuts app and, and show you how it works. Hey Siri, it's a beautiful day. Running your shortcut. Good morning. Today's date is February 20th, 2019, 7.52 p.m. Your first event today is Josh's birthday. The high for today is 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The chance for rain is 20, 20, 60, 70, 80, 0, 0, 20, 20, 40, 40. Your home scene is now set. Done. So we'll open up Shortcuts app. And here is how it works. So first it just gathers some information. First we gather the upcoming events. Um, so it uses a calendar. You can pick your calendar and we're using get one event, so it'll get the first event from today. Then we use a counter to count these events. If the number up there is greater than zero, it'll output this. Your first event today is upcoming events. Now, this is the if then, so if it's greater than zero, we'll get this. If it's not greater than zero, then it won't do anything. Next, we get the weather forecast. We get the current, we're using the current location and the daily forecast. And then we run our home scene. And you can choose where my, and I got my home chosen. And then here's my recent scenes. I've got good morning chosen. Last but not least, once it gathers all this information, it shows the result and it says it's good morning. Today's date is our current date. And these are the variables that we gathered up here that we set our calendar info which is this the high for today is show the weather conditions and we got that set to the high the chance for rain is the precipitation chance right there and then it says your home scene is now set so you can test this we'll run through it says good morning today's date your first event it says the high the chance for rain, and then this is your hourly chance for rain, which sounds a little weird, but I don't mind it um, because it kind of gives me an overlook of the day. And then it says your home scene is now set. And that is how we incorporate a home scene into our shortcuts. Um, all right, so that's it. That's the shortcut. I'm just kind of getting my feet wet. I'd like to get some more time to go in there and play around with them and create some more shortcuts. I think they're really cool and I like to incorporate them more into my daily use. So if you have any cool shortcuts that you use specifically with HomeKit or just cool shortcuts that you think would be useful, drop a comment down below, share a link, let us know. I'd love to check that out. 
Hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're into HomeKit and creating a smart home on a budget using HomeKit, consider subscribing to this channel. Click the bell to get notifications when I drop new videos. Got some more coming up soon, but until next time, we'll see you guys later.